Here we go then. So it's eight key questions that any property investor should ask a property sourcer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, and these are some of the, you know, the key questions we get asked all the time. Adam, should I buy that property that you're about to source for me in a limited company for my own personal name? Right, so that is very person specific. We would need to discuss a few finer points during that success call to understand whether that would be the best thing for you. Yeah. As a high rate taxpayer, it almost certainly would make sense mm -hmm. if you've got a plan to buy multiple properties to put them in a limited company. And we would always recommend you speak with an accountant yeah. as well who we can put you in touch with. In some cases, it's not, you know. Occasionally, yeah. If you've got like a big chunk of cash and you don't work mm -hmm. and you just want to put it into property, mm -hmm. you might not. Not going to take mortgages? then yeah, you wouldn't need to. It doesn't to. really matter. So yeah. um, very person specific. It would require some further questions from us. It's not something yeah. I could answer in a video. It's also um, just to point out, not something we'd ever answer conclusively. You would be putting you in touch with a yeah. panel of, we're, we're, we're landlords ourselves. We've got lots and lots of landlords on our books, over a thousand tenancies and you know, loads of people that need to take this kind of advice. We've got some good advisors. True. And you'd put, people in touch with people who can give regulated financial advice. Actually, some of it isn't regulated. It's just financial advice and it should be done properly. Um, but some of it's regulated. Solicitors, accountants, yeah. mortgage brokers. Sometimes it's, a, it's, it's that trio as well. Yeah. Uh, we've seen people get advice from an accountant that can't be actioned by a solicitor hmm. and then they can't get a mortgage on it. So you do need that sensible. That's yeah, why definitely. that 360 review is so important. It also, so, it might be a case of what's your plan for... Um, 20 years down the line, your exit yeah. strategy, it might be a case that you don't want to put them into a limited company because you don't want to burden your kids with that, or you do actually want your kids to become part of the limited company. IHT, so then it's, you advice. know, it all, it all just varies on, yeah. on you. It's a, it's, a, it's a big topic. Of, we'll be throwing, it, that is a genuine question that gets asked all the time. You should definitely, definitely consider it. This can be the difference for some people if you are a high rate taxpayer, True. you want to mortgage, you've got a particular exit strategy, maybe you've got some heirs you want to pass it to, it can be the difference between, what's well, make or break, is it's worthwhile or not worthwhile? You know, it's paying tax that erodes all my profit and more, or not. For some landlords, it's like, yeah, I just don't need to do that. Big conversation, yeah. lots of specialists, we can guide you through it, that's the best way to put it. Hold your Definitely. hand, hold your hand, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Hopefully that was useful. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.